Christian, I can't believe it. You're our special guest. <laughs> you're not I just know, a member of our broadcast right? team, but apparently you're a big deal to somebody somewhere somehow. Well, tell us about yourself. <laughs> and that somebody is us. Well, tell me more about that, uh, Yasser. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that would be your job. No, I, I'm here uh, because uh, obviously I'm uh, also the head coach of the University of uh, Missouri. We just saw uh, that commercial and I think you guys have a few questions for me about the university, the role that I have at the university and uh, things of that nature. So we'll start, send me your best. We'll start <laughs> with the compliment and the compliment that we're going to begin with is the most obvious one. You have been a very successful chess coach. Tell us about the successes that you that the Tigers have been enjoying. Yes, we uh, started actually the program. It's a fairly new program. We started in uh, 2019, so in uh, only four, five short years by now, uh, we have become quite uh, successful, especially this last year has been very good for us. Um, it was, I would say, an accomplishment of um, the founding members of uh, this team, all uh, the students that have been here from uh, the beginning and of course the new additions as well. But this was the end, let's say, of uh, the first generation of uh, players and uh, they dominated last year winning the Final Four and the Pan Americans. So I'm very happy that they managed to do so. As you can see in that one, that's uh, Grigory Oparin, um, who just graduated right now. He's also the trainer of Fabiano Caruana. And uh, in fact, a fun fact uh, about him, in I believe 29 games uh, of collegiate chess, he hasn't lost a single game. So definitely wow. did his job at the university, yes. Wow, that's fantastic. And you're taking all the credit as the coach, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you Look, seem I'm to share that. Look, I'm not doing that much. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing that much. My job is to uh, train them, make sure, uh, you know, they balance their academics and uh, their chess as well, stay focused. And um, also, of course, my job is to build the culture of the program and the identity of the program. And I think that's uh, the biggest, let's say, uh, job that I had at the beginning of the program. We were new, nobody really knew about us. There were much more established uh, program uh, programs out there. And yeah, in just uh, five short years, we managed to build um, a good culture and I would say a winning culture at the university. For me, Christian, when I filled out an application to the University of Washington in Seattle, uh, I said to uh, the application officer, it just inspir inspired me. I said, and you know, I'm the champion of chess for all ages at Washington, <laughs> Washington State. And they said, congratulations, that and you know, the full amount of tuition will get you into school. <laughs> you guys are offering full scholarships for chess. This is absolutely fantastic. Yes, I believe this is a huge opportunity for uh, players that are ambitious. Um, of course, titled players, we generally have international masters and grandmasters, uh, elite grandmasters, I would say. But it's an amazing opportunity for aspiring players not only uh, to continue their chess career, but also uh, get a globally, I would say, recognized degree from the flagship university here in uh, Missouri. Right. And just the connections, obviously you're here, you're, 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 you're broadcasting alongside us, but uh, the connection that the St. Louis Chess Club, the World Chess Hall of Fame, have with the University of Missouri, what's the d direct connections, uh, Christian? There would be no chess program without uh, the help of uh, the club. Of course, it's a joint uh, partnership between the St. Louis Chess Club and the university. And yeah, I mean, not only that they support financially our program, and uh, obviously that helps us attract the best talent, but also once we have the players, um, they allow us to, you know, have tournaments, invaluable tournaments for them with uh, the um, summer classic, uh, winter classic, all the seasons classics that we've had for the past few years in which uh, these university players uh, have priority and they were able to build up uh, on top of their skills due to this support from the club. We also asked VAR that mm -hmm. question. We'll ask you the same question that we had asked Verujan. Uh, the World Chess Championships for Blitz and for Rapids are coming up in the Big Apple later this year. Will Mizzou be sending chess teams 
to uh, that, those competitions. Oh, absolutely. I think a lot of the players are going to be very excited to participate uh, in that. And, um, you know, a lot of the players are going to uh, play the Olympiad as well, which is coming up in just a couple of weeks. We, in fact, have uh, three players um, uh, coming uh, to play the Olympiad for Spain, for uh, Bulgaria and for uh, Norway. Ooh. We have, um, in fact, two of them are freshmen at the university. Marta Garcia, who is the second best player in Spain, will be representing Spain. And uh, we have a big surprise. We have Arjen Tari. Um, he joined us from uh, Norway. This is his freshman year at Mizu and I'm very excited to uh, have him under uh, my wing. Of course, we also have Ishik Khan from uh, Turkey, and I'm very excited about him. Only 18 years of age, uh, international master, looking to achieve his final grandmaster um, norm and hopefully get his title while at Mizu. Very excited about the new crop of uh, students, guys. Oh, I think Mizu team is just getting stronger and stronger. And also some of the past team members uh, have participated and will be participating in the US championships. Is that right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, that is very much uh, correct. Gulruk uh, Begim Tohirjanova, she uh, participated in quite a few US championships, US Women's Championships. You know that very well. Nazi, you've uh, played against her, you've battled against her, and uh, sometimes I was coaching her, I was in the back uh, trying to find ways uh, to defeat you, but you are so tenacious, uh, Nazi. You are one of oh, the toughest opponents, I would say. <laughs> and right now we have uh, the upcoming championships. We have Grigory. Grigory Oparin, who will be making his uh, debut at the U.S. Championships. So I'm excited about that um, as well. Well, you have a lot of tournaments coming up. Well, Olympia, definitely. And I want to congratulate you, Christian. You sure do uh, clean up well. Your normal look, however, is quite different from the one that you're... <laughs> 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 this is the gang. That's rehearsals. The, this is the gang. That's my rehearsal coach. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this, is, this is the dark nice. Christian. <laughs> Those glasses look, are just... It, it was... It was Fun while it lasted, <laughs> me joining as an interviewee, but I think it's time to go back to, to the chess sure. because I have to say, did you guys see that G5 from we the yes. Yes. And right now? Right we now. Wow, opportunity and, is and knocking I, for... For Fabi. Is Fabi. this correct? Does Did he play that with an hour and 50 minutes on his clock? He's only he spent 15 minutes. Seconds. Is yes. that correct? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. You're right, Christian. It, it, it's crazy. He what took exactly no time. is happening? for a huge blunder. Uh, again, Christian, thank you for the interview. Uh, all the good, good luck and success, uh, you know uh, we'll be teasing you if you don't deliver, so, <laughs> so good luck on that. But, thank but, you, Yasser, thank absolutely. you guys, thank you. But Peter, take it away, G5, what the heck? 